what's up everybody in today's video we have karen benson who is trying to ambush a police officer and she's accusing him of not following the laws of the road but meanwhile she has no clue as to what she's talking about as usual and in the second clip we have a frauditor that captures an interesting situation as a security guard is getting arrested and of course, he seizes the opportunity to have a complete meltdown and make the whole situation about him. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Hey, good morning, everybody. How is everybody this morning? So we're in Inglewood, and we've got a little problem here with this cop. Um, it seems as though he's got a tail light out. Well, it's not as though it seems, it is fact. And Inglewood PD is in the midst of raising a lot of uh, revenue right now for traffic infractions. Um, while this wouldn't be a traffic infraction, um, if he continues to drive after I tell him that he's got a taillight out, hey! These people are such hypocrites. It's unreal. They're always complaining that the cops are stopping people for innocent things like taillights, but yet she does the exact same thing. Make it make sense, Karen, because right now it doesn't. Hey, so you got a taillight out. Oh, okay, which one? It's your right side, passenger yeah. side. Thank you. But, so I've been watching you, yeah. driving around. You're not doing a very good job obeying traffic laws. Okay. So, what do you got going on? Are you in the middle of a call? I am. So, how come you don't have your lights activated? It's not an emergent call where my lights can be activated. But if you're disregarding traffic laws, yeah. then it is. So, I'm looking for a domestic violence suspect who's mobile in a car. Okay. So, that's why I'm moving quickly. Okay. That doesn't mean I can do lights and sirens in that situation. But that's why I'm trying to move away. But that doesn't justify you not following traffic laws. Okay, I can give you a card. You can call my supervisor. I'll you. take your card for sure, yeah. So he's telling me he's in the middle of a domestic violence call. You know, the public watches this stuff. Yeah. And if, if you're going to be doing that, you got to make it clear that you have a reason to be running stop signs and not using your turn signal and all that stuff. Okay. So you understand that, right? Yeah. I, I mean, see. you guys testify in court against people, so they pay fines for things like that. And that's actually where I just came from. Okay. Yeah, I watched you guys make a, a young single mom um, walk out of that courtroom in tears. I wasn't there. Oh, I know you weren't there, but this is part of what you guys do. I'm and then you come out here and think you can do whatever the hell you want, and it just doesn't work like that. So, okay, that's fine. We, right? we can have a difference of opinion, that's fine. Well, um, it's not opinion, it's fact. You're violating traffic so law. So, if you were being beaten up in a car, in a mobile vehicle, uh -huh. would you care if a cop put on a turn light to get to you? No, what I or would, would care is that you came with sirens and lights to save my life. That's what okay. I would care about. But there's a certain criteria where I can do that and where I can't do that. Well, when you're, when you're, when you're disregarding traffic laws, then you yeah. can. And that's a valid point. I'm not saying it's not. So, you're wrong, and I'm right. Okay. And that's the bottom line. Gosh, this woman is unbearable. She knows nothing of police work. Who is she to tell him how to do his job? It's the same reason why you have DMA and Karen Benson complaining that the police cars are left on. There is a very valid reason for that. It's so the computers don't shut off. So that way, if there's an emergency, they have access to all their information right away. But of course, Karen and DMA don't want to do any research or try to educate themselves on that. They just want to talk straight out of their asshole. Okay. So this is your friendly warning mm -hmm. um, because this is not okay. So okay. 
If you're in the middle of this urgent call, yeah. why the fuck are you standing here talking to me? Because you're holding me here. I'm holding you against like to, your will? I'd like to go talk to the RP who saw the Well, nobody saw, nobody's stopping you. Okay. So you're obviously not in the middle of an urgent call. So okay. now you're lying to me. I'm not lying. That shit pisses me off. You can make this anything you want it to be. No, you're making it something that it's not. You're lying to I'm me. I'm giving you the respect of having a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. In I the have middle? Denver police working on a call on that their end of where this car came back to. I have a supervisor for that business looking into who's driving the car. I have an active investigation going on. I have a moment to talk with you, and I'm giving you that respect to do so. Okay, I appreciate that. I'm going to go talk to the RP of the business now okay. since we've had our conversation. But it, since you have a moment to talk to me, you yeah. have a moment to obey the traffic laws. Sure. Period. Okay. All right. All right. Have a Thank nice Thank you. You too. With this banshee, every time you engage with her, it's a lose-lose situation. Either she would have complained that he's ignoring her, or now she's complaining that he's spending too much time talking to her when he should be working. It's like, make up your mind, Karen. Imagine waking up to that every morning. I mean, there's someone out there, her husband, who is taking one for the team. But from what I've heard, he's not that much better. <sighs> He's driving like a damn fool through the neighborhood, blowing stop signs. Not that Inglewood, you know, police department cares what their cops are doing. So after this call, this vehicle better be off the road and that tail light better get fixed because he doesn't have proper brake lights. That's car number 7531. It needs to be taken out of service. Yeah, but what happened to Regan being taken out of service? She said she was quitting frauditing, that she wasn't going to harass homeless people anymore, she wasn't going to record them without their consent, and that she would stop all this crap. But yet, here she is doing it again. Anyways, moving on to the next clip, we have an interesting situation. So this frauditor is coming onto a scene. There's a security guard getting arrested. Now, the reason why he's getting arrested is because he's wearing a police hat. So with the gun, the security guard uniform and the police hat, he could be impersonating an officer. And that's why he's getting arrested. Now, it's an interesting situation. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. It would not be good for the security guard to mislead people into believing he's a cop but at the same time, it's just a hat. But what's really interesting is how the frauditor recording the situation is going to act. He's going to have a complete meltdown. Check this out. Jasper, that's so that's how that comes really about. So he's dealing with you, he identifies you to make sure that you're somebody that uh, is not prohibited from carrying a firearm. And uh, they, you guys ID him unlawfully then. You guys had no right to ID him. You can't ID him because of a hat. You guys crazy? I already know you you speedway police officers. You guys are a bunch of suckers. You guys, you guys, shut the fuck up. You unlawfully identified this man. Now you're stripping him down in front of everybody this fucking job. What the fuck's wrong with you guys? You guys are ignorant. You civil rights violating bitches. <laughs> oh, you're the guy that's suing us. That's right, I'm suing you. I'm suing every goddamn cop in Indiana, damn near. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because you dumb motherfuckers don't know the law. Okay. You have a good day, sir. No, fuck you. Quit violating the people. If you guys want us to respect you, then quit violating us. Quit treating us like criminals. Honestly, I couldn't care less about yours. I could care less about you, motherfucker, or your family. Damn. All right. You sucker. Lord, help us, Jesus. You know, pray for the Lord in the battle of the division. Help us, Lord. One step, right? Okay. 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 Required to even do so. A, let me let me explain this. So okay. the constitutional carry law that we passed gives everyday citizen the constitutional right to carry a firearm. 
Oh, it's in there. These cops don't even know the law. They don't know the law. They don't know the citations. They don't know the infractions. This is the only job you can ever get where you don't have to know your job. All you got to do is be able to put that uniform on in the morning and show up. I'm suing everybody, the U.S. Marshals. I'm getting ready to sue the U.S. District Court. I'm definitely suing these bitches. They cannot ID anybody without reasonable or articulable suspicion of a crime. Well, Captain Lawsuit is a certified moron because he just said they cannot ID him unless they suspect that he has committed a crime. But they are suspecting that he committed a crime. It's called impersonating a police officer. Now, as for all his lawsuits, they're probably going to go nowhere. This is the frauditor known as Wanda. And he's basically a hybrid between the village idiot and the neighborhood drunk. The fact that he's wearing that beanie, who cares? He's not out here pulling people over. You see what happens when you give up your ID unlawfully? They start doing this stuff to you. Next thing you know, you're standing around in your boxer shorts in front of 20 people. Because these guys want to break the law. That's right, you discriminated because you don't know the law. You refuse to call the postal inspector. I'm already going to court over this. You guys are fucking idiots. How are you going to tell somebody that they can't be in a public area that the rest of the public's allowed because I got a fucking camera going, you fucking moron? No, you don't want to get into it because you fucking are dumb and you don't understand it, so why would you get into it? Why'd you get into it in the first place? Why didn't you tell the Kevin Young that, hey, it's a public place. He can record in here. He's not breaking the law. That's all you had to say. Leave him alone. But you want to stop me from recording when Kevin Young's refusing to do his job. Do you see me stopping you from recording? Well, no, you're not stopping me now, but you stopped me at the post office. I didn't break the law in there. Kevin Young refused to do his job. I wasn't even recording until he refused to do his job. Then I started recording so I could show it to the postmaster that Kevin Young wasn't doing his job. He calls you and you back him up. So that's a conspiracy on your part because you conspired with Kevin Young to neglect me and my rights, my freedom. What's your thoughts on flat earth? The same thought as yours on uh, fucking obeying the law. That is priceless. What are your thoughts on Flat Earth, Frauditor? Oh my god, this cop is amazing. He knows exactly the kind of lunatic he's dealing with. Did you get that out all right? I don't have to get everything out all right perfectly all the time. It's not my job. But when it's your job to enforce the fucking law, You're you should know it. You. you should know the fucking law at the very least. You Tell me one fucking law that you know. Give me one IC code that you know. Uh, 7.1-5-1-3. What is it? That's public intoxication. Well, yeah, you probably nail people on that all the time. Well, when they're public What's the Third Amendment to the Constitution? You tell me, I don't know. Uh, exactly. That's your job to swore no to it, and you don't know it. But you swore no to it, right? Yeah. Hey, sir. Yeah, you too. You intellectual dumb fuck. I can't But he's doing Metro, too, I'm suing the Sheriff's Department, I'm suing the U.S. Marshals, I'm suing a couple of security guard agencies, I'm suing uh, state police, IMPD, Speedway, Martinsville, I mean, who else do you guys want me to sue? Because you guys don't know the dumb, you guys don't know the law. I'm going to be suing some prosecutors, judges, and whoever else. Yeah, exactly. Now, what are we going to do about this man? You guys took his belt off. You took his gun off. You got a bag of his stuff over there. You already got him in handcuffs, which is, that's, you got a lawsuit right here. Defamation. Then you got uh, arrest, unlawful arrest, because once you put him in cuffs, it's an arrest. It's no longer a detainment. You got the man where he can't move, so he's 
beyond detainment, he's arrested. So you got several lawsuits. Look me up. Yeah, look me up at Wanda Mines on YouTube. Sir, I appreciate you. First thing you got to do is you got to file a tort claim. This is what happens when you guys don't know the law, you cost us money. But I know, but yeah, be proud about that. Child, so I'm not trying to fucking ignorant. I, I, I would hope that. So he is another lawyer. Don't give him praise. These guys don't know the law, so don't give them any praise. These guys disrespected okay, you in front of everybody. Okay, don't give them any I'll praise. These guys. They, they, they're doing their job too. You know, they got the kids too much. Sure. They got jobs to do. But they got to protect the citizens, but who are they protecting know, by handcuffing an innocent know, man? I think you should thank you. Bro. you Man, it's really bad when even the guy in handcuffs want nothing to do with frauditors. That should be a sign that, that nobody cares about you, frauditor. Nobody cares what you're talking about, and your presence is not required or needed. If you guys want to get the respect from the people, you got to start respecting the people first. She just said that it was valid. Why is he so tough? We're still trying to work some certain things out. Oh, yeah. No, we're speaking to prosecutors. We're just making sure we're dotting our eyes across. Oh, my dear Lord. So you'll get back on the job. For somebody who is working. I got to make some phone calls. The prosecutor just as ignorant. Thank you. I don't need it. Okay. Well, you got to release him. He will, if it turns out that all that is correct, he will do it. No. How long do you think that's going to take? You know, it ain't the first time I've been in the club, so, you know, 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 you Whenever I see cops dealing with the citizens, I pull over. I don't care what I got going on. This is going to stop. You guys are going to learn the law. And you're going to learn to respect the citizens. I'll force you to respect the citizens. Otherwise, you'll be out of a job. You can sit over there and do, make all the faces you want. I'm not fucking around. I'm going to make sure you learn your fucking job or you're out on your fucking ass and off our payroll. I'm not playing that dumb shit. There's too many cameras in too many people's pockets to let you guys get away with it. You guys' days of tyranny are over with. I can't wait until I start getting you guys locked up because technically that's what should be happening. You guys should be getting locked up. When you violate us, kidnap us, and keep us held in one place at your fucking whim, for no reason, it should be you locked up. Let us put the handcuffs on you. That's where they belong. Come and try. Yeah, come and try, exactly. If you didn't have that badge and that uniform on, you wouldn't be shit. You wouldn't say a fucking thing to me on the street. You know why? Because I take care of business. So you run your mouth all you want in that costume, clown boy, but out of that costume, you ain't shit. Oh, I see we have a tough guy on our hands. I mean, it's the same thing that could be said about his camera. Without the camera, you ain't shit. You're not going to start a fight if it's not on camera because you know that you can run to the cops as soon as the fight pops off. This guy is just like a typical frauditor, all bark and no bite. How is he impersonating a police officer by wearing a beanie? If that hat said Nike, are you going to arrest him for representing a Nike? Huh? They might, they might, uh, whatever, three, four, eight, 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 four, eight,
check and I'm right down the cat number and I and I need body cam footage as well. So what the reason the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna come in during business hours to the Speedway Police Department and I'm gonna give you part of that information. Like, and that's where you're gonna make your request for that. Can I get some before you guys leave? I'm gonna have to write everything down on this car. Okay. Recon, right, bro. Request that body cam footage in four minute and 59 second increments or they'll be trying to charge you $50. Do I have your information, sir? Yeah, I got you. Everything? Okay, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. I know it's cold out here. Sir, can I please get your information? Yeah, you hear me? When you request the body cam footage, request it in four minute and 59 second increments. Anything over a half hour, they'll charge you fifty dollars for it. But anything under five minutes is free. So tell me you want all the body cam footage and under four minutes and fifty nine second increments, and it'll be free. Okay. I appreciate that information. Thank you. They try to charge for everything. You guys can't charge him for wearing a police hat. He didn't try to pull anybody over. He didn't identify as a police officer. You guys are fucking clowns. You're a clown. Well, I'll tell you what, Frauditor. If you want to see the biggest clown, all you have to do is take your phone and flip it around. You'll see the biggest clown you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!